All right, solving this problem. Uh, so this is in the setup of sine A sine B, which is equal to one half of cosine A minus B. And the whole reason I'm showing you this is this is what I'm going to use to solve this problem. You know, normally, you know, if you're just trying to find an approximate answer, you just punch it into your calculator. But this formula here allows us to give an exact answer using radicals. So in this instance, we're going to have one half of cosine of 285 minus 75 minus cosine of 285 plus 75. Yeah. And this gets us one half of cosine of 210 degrees um, minus cosine of 360 degrees. Let me pull out my unit circle here. So, um, cosine of 210 degrees is right here. It's equal to um, negative root 3 over 2. It's going to one half. Minus cosine of six, 360 degrees is just one full circle. So it's basically the same thing as cosine of 60 or 0 degrees, which is just 1. Did I make a mistake? Uh, no, I didn't. All right, so ultimately what I end up getting, um, I can leave it like that. Um, or I can multiply it through, so I get negative root 3 over 4. Well, I'm going to combine and get a common denominator. Um, minus 2. Because it's the same thing as... 1 half times negative 1 is 1 half, and then I just have to make it negative 2 to make it so they have the same denominator. Okay, that's it. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.